Hey folks, welcome to Headlong Hunt, a game that I've, I guess I've played on my channel before, sort of. Uh, <laughs> this was a puzzle script game, there was like an original puzzle script version of this um, a couple of years ago now that I loved. I, it was one of my favourite puzzle games I've ever played. Um, and then over the last couple of years, the developer Tumblr has been working on this version. Like it's, it's jazzed up, it's got new art, it's built in a completely different engine. I think it's built in Unity maybe or something. Um, oh yeah, I'm pretty sure it is because it's based on the grid game framework, grid, grid game gr groundwork that Corey Martin made. Um, so yeah, it's, it's like, it's a whole new thing. Look, it's got little transitions. Oh, it goes straight into the game. Interesting. I, like, I've like i not looked beyond that screen at all yet. Um, interestingly, when it started up, it gave me, there was an initial screen of like, sound settings, which is an interesting idea, because like often that is the first thing anybody wants to tweak when they jump into a game. Um, I assume there are also like more settings if I like hit escape. Okay, yep. The controls are there, nice. There are credits, options. I think I heard somebody mention that there are lots of settings. Um, I'm curious whether one of those settings is going to include the one that I always <laughs> <laughs> I'm interested in less like maybe it already <gasps> you can see my cursor okay great that's all I need <laughs> that's all I need <laughs> awesome my cursor is in the video um awesome awesome uh, but yeah what, what all the others mute audio when not in focus okay um controls which are probably rebindable looks like they are but all good, that's what I expect. Gameplay options, hold to move. Instead of like requiring a tap for every move, maybe. Key repeat duration, move duration. Hold and do speed up. That's, that's a bunch of nice settings for sure. Ice numbers count down. I have seen, I've seen from the trailer, there's like ice with numbers on them. I don't know what that does though, because I don't think that was in the puzzle script version. So yeah, so this was originally a puzzle script game and I believe it's now like three times bigger as well. Um, and I, as I said, I love the original puzzle, puzzle script version. Um, it was just very cool. Um, and it was like one of the first games that, like that was fairly early in my, I mean, it wasn't that early in my <laughs> getting into puzzle games. It's like, when did I start really getting into puzzle, puzzle games? Probably, oh, pro okay, a while ago. <laughs> it's been a long time, but like, um, it was just a, definitely a game where I played the puzzles and thought like, wow, these are really well designed puzzles. Like every puzzle had a great idea in it. Oh, and also uh, the same developer, Tumblr, made a lot of the puzzles or made some of the puzzles in Billy Bum Bum as well. So um, uh, there'll probably be some familiarity with the, 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 the kind of design of the puzzles. Anyway, the way the game works is there's a little orange creature that runs away when you go in line of sight with it, and the aim is to get it into the trap. Fun stuff. Fun stuff. Um, okay, we've got the level name in the corner as well. Okay, so we're probably sending you down, and then right, then up. Yeah, that feels good. Cool. In a sense, that that kind of puzzle solving is a bit like some of the puzzles in Billy Bum Bum, like the ones where there's like walls around the outside and you're trying to realize like which way you want to send the block to be able to hit the walls and go around in a weird way. I recognize this level. I, so some of these I'm going to really recognize and remember what the solution is. And I remember the solution is to walk around the outside here so I don't get seen. Um, and I remember these things, there's little bits of text to read. Specimen exhibit toughened Specimens exhibit toughened anterior tissue, apparently adapted in response to frequent collisions with rocky surfaces. Their obstacle avoidance, on the other hand, does not seem to have improved. <laughs> Very nice. Um, I wonder how much the text has changed or if it's still the same. Obviously, you can still read it afterwards. I think in the puzzle script version, you like it removed it once you'd stepped on it. Oh, oh, actually, is this what I want? Yeah, this is what I want. Then over there, and then I make my way back around so that you can't see me. Then you go here, you go down to that. Neat. Oh, we have a world map now. That's a nice way of revealing it as well. Like, I didn't start here, but now I can see it. I guess, yeah, so I guess I'm like in some like Arctic or Antarctic place surrounded by ice and I'm going like island to island. 
So wait, so I did that one. I see, and there's a branching off the side. I remember this puzzle. I remember exactly how this puzzle is done. It's like this. It's like that. Cool. Got to walk around the outside. <clears throat> Don't remember this one. If this was in the base game, it might not have been. Looks like I want to send you upwards. These first bunch of puzzles will just be very like feely, like I'm gonna send you the right kind of direction up, then left, then down. Yep. And then over there. Wonder how the how are the inputs good? Uh, up, 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 left. Yeah, inputs feel pretty good. I always check with the game, like how does it feel if I just like spam inputs and want to go in direction? Because like a lot of games do that wrong and will like drop inputs that you're pressing. Um, it's always a bit awkward. I recognize this one. This is where we learn, unless we just learned it then. Uh, well, hold on. The explorers who first documented the animals were shocked to discover its great affinity for the ocean. Nobody has yet managed to catch one over water. <laughs> yes, even with a speedboat. So, uh, over water is the key thing here. It's, it's that we can, yeah, we can send you up. Then right, this is the one where we learn that they can float like this. They don't have to be on land. And then to the right you go. Cool. <clears throat> this feels new. Multiple books have been written about the creature's singular sensory abilities. They can detect threats with acuity. Is that how you said that word? <laughs> Even at long distances, but surprisingly only in the four cardinal directions. <laughs> I like it's very self-aware about how weird it is. Uh, well, you must be going right, but then you must be going down. This feels like one where the directions are probably pretty well. I think you're going right then. Well, it could be up then left then down then left, or down, then left. Ah, oh, but you wouldn't be able to go up from there. Got it. So it, it is up here, and then left. Can you go back down that way? I also just love the... Oh, actually, this isn't the whole thing. Oh, we got to go all the way around. Uh, I love the animation of it hitting the wall. <laughs> it is delightful. Look at it. <laughs> uh. <laughs> there we go. Sorry, little creature. And so, this is not like pack right down the bumble arrows. It's not like I'm trying to get to the space where the creature is. If I, I think, actually, what happens if I do go to the space? I, I think I just bump into it. I don't like. I can't move into the space. Um, also, one of the ways it's like, it's, it's interesting. I hadn't even thought about the comparison between the two until somebody on Discord mentioned it recently. Like, oh yeah, they're both about chasing a creature and trying to catch it. Um, but. This is also a little bit nicer in having less like, like the bunnies have quite complicated logic about how they move, where here it's just very, very simple. Um, and the bunnies also have a bit of like, there's always somebody who wants to argue with me about my use of this word, but arbitrary <laughs> decisions. Um, I think my use of the word is good. Um, Cause like the bunnies, like when they hit a wall, they turn left. Like they could equally have chosen that they turn right. I consider that an arbitrary decision. It's like a choice from equal possible behaviors. Whereas here, there's nothing like that, as far as I know. Um, okay, so now we're introduced to uh, pink blocks that can be pushed. It's now an actual soccer band game. Um, I mean, so I'm gonna have to skate to the right, right? Yes. And then maybe I want to position this elsewhere for later, like down here. Yeah, and then, oh, oh, but I can't scale. No, 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 no. I want you to go up, right? So I guess I'm going to want to put it here. So, oh, okay, that's what happens when you walk into them. <laughs> you go up, you go left, and then you're going to go down, so I want to reposition this. It's funny that I can walk right next to you. Okay, you go there, and then we're done, right? Hey. Hey. It's... Oh, oh, there's another world. Oh yeah, that is the next puzzle. Okay, cool. This is fun. It's fun that it like scrolls between different sections of the world rather than being like a continuous camera motion or anything. Um... Alrighty, let's go read this. Strange square crystals are also found on some of the islands. They don't appear to 
be alive, however, so no one's really interested in them. <laughs> oh, I recognize this one. I don't remember the solution, though. Um, so I think I don't want to send you... Well, I gotta send you left, okay. Ah, left and down. Yeah, left and down and into this. Oh, gosh. Uh, can I walk past you? I guess only if I put this there. So do that, and then put this in place, like down here, send you down, and then right. Then I'm gonna want you to go up and hit this somewhere. Okay, yeah, the thing here is that I need to position this and walk behind it, yeah. I, I remember getting stuck on this, thinking like, oh, I wanna put this here and send the creature upwards. It'd be interesting to go back and watch my previous playthrough of the puzzle script version. Um, and then, yeah, send it to the right, but then there's a problem of, like, how do I get past it? So instead, yeah, it's about putting it here, walking around the back of this, and just doing a slight zigzag to get to the exit. Very neat. They're very, like, tight puzzles. I very much enjoy that. Don't recognize this. Okay, you're over there. I could reposition you before... Oh, this is complex. This is very complex. At some point you're gonna, this might be like a work backwards kind of puzzle. At some point you're gonna wanna be in this column. Um, where do I think that's likely to happen? Oh, look at my reflection. Where do I think I'm likely to catch the little creature? Like block could go here? I mean, maybe. Yeah. So is this, maybe I just want to set that up. Because it feels like I could probably just do everything after that, right? Ah, but if I take it that way, I can't get it there. Oh, oh. it's getting stuck. Yeah, maybe I just want to put you there. This is just about figuring out the position. Everything else is just to distract from finding that, that position. That goes there, that goes there, and then, yeah, you can go down. Hey. Neat. Oh yeah, and that other pink block. I was thinking like, oh, maybe that pink block is supposed to come out, but it couldn't have done. It was stuck in the area over there. Okay. It looks like I'm also given access to multiple levels ahead, which is a nice feature. Okay, I recognize this one for sure. Um, I need to bring you upwards, but not like directly right, or maybe directly, maybe I do like this and then left, then move this up here, that seems to work. This is all working. I remember having so much more trouble with that when I actually when I originally played it. I guess I've gotten better at games since I played the original version, I think. Uh, once again, I do recognize this. I recognize this one. Okay, well, oh, ooh, oh. I haven't even tried pushing them into the water yet. They can be pushed into the water, interesting. Um, I think I'm gonna have to do that, right? Do I wanna push one into the water? If I do this, can I multi-push? I can't multi-push, so I have to push you into the water. So you are teaching me that. Okay, so that I can push this one in the water, but I can't, right? Because you're there. Okay, hold on. That's going in the water. Ah, I don't want to avoid scaring you. Got it. Cool puzzle. I want to avoid scaring you, so I put this there. I go past, so that I can push this north. Then I can push that out of the way. Neat. Very cool. Satisfying puzzles. Now we have... Ooh, new music. Okay, is there new music this way as well? Wait. It's, it slowly transitions between things. Yeah, so that, that music is for here. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm gonna try and get these done, I guess, before going those directions. I wonder if it's like two different mechanics that merge back again at some point. Oh, I totally remember this one. I remember thinking this is such a good puzzle because it's like such a mess. But it's, I think it ends up being really clever. I gotta scare you leftwards. If I ever scare you against that wall, that's bad. 
I can't go through this way. If I do this, I'm packing these together, which feels certainly bad. Remember, I can start pushing things off the side if I want to. I don't know if I do want to. This feels good for now. Okay. Now, how do I get around you? I'm going to want a... Yeah, okay. I'm going to want to bring something to the... Am I? Do I just want to do this? My problem is I want to get this out of the way. I guess it didn't have to go all that way, did it? So I could scare you like one space that way. Either way, I'm going to have to move that at some point. I think I don't ever want you to go up or down because I'd never scare you away from these edges. Yeah, okay. So I want, to stay, I want you to stay on that row. Ah, I want to bring this one over and maybe put you there. This is ringing a bell. Oh no, put, bring you there. Okay, cool. So now you've got a backstop. Now I can get rid of this and you don't go back any further. Oh, you go that way. Super neat. <laughs> I just remember when I played the original, it was like, it really made it clear to me how, how deductive a game like this can be. <laughs> Like, I, I think I started to see the... I was probably already seeing it by that point, but started to see the connection between, like, this world and the, like, paper puzzle world or whatever. Um, okay. Let's just go read that. I do remember the layout of this puzzle, for sure. The creatures are often studied by capture and release. The capture step can sometimes be so difficult, though, that biologists get straight to release. Okie dokie, so you want to end up there. If I go past you, you will see me. These, if they go against the edge, won't come away from the edge. Like, if this one went down, it'd be stuck against the edge. Okay. So this is going to be about, like, sending you... Can I send you down to hit that? Or maybe if I positioned it already? Hmm, but I can't walk upwards without scaring you. And I can't do... Can't move these left either. Well, except... Like, on the other rows. But yeah, now I can't do this. I think I want you to go down, don't I? I think I want to go like this, send you down. Because those blocks on the right are there for a reason to let me like walk past you and not have problems right so that I can put this like here put this here send you up then left oh uh, could I have left that open I think so I didn't have to position it then did I So maybe push that down. Up. Then position this. Then send you left. This feels good. And then down. Does it feel good? What happens after that? Oh, I just scare it to the right and then up. Yeah? Yes, cool. Uh, no. Oh yeah, okay. We're just gonna put this there. Neat. One final trick. Ta-da! Fun, fun. Um, oh, so we've got grass and we've got ice. Those, those are both mechanics in the original game. Numbered ice wasn't, but we haven't seen numbered ice yet. I think this is just normal ice. Oh, the music changes when you go to these. That's why I was like, oh, why is the music changed already? Okay, cool. Uh, I kind of feel like going to grass. Let's go to the grass. Uh, so grass, you can step in. Um, if you're in grass, the creature can't see you, but when you leave, the grass goes down, so you can't reuse it. That's single use. Okay, so that's just teaching me that, I guess, and it's teaching me that you can't see me through the grass. Okay. I think all this grass here is just for that purpose. And I can pop out and scare you. Oh, you can hide in the grass as well? Oh, I can go through the grass. Oh yeah, that's what I want. I go through the grass, you go over there. 
I think the creature can go in grass. I can't quite remember how it works. Do you stop in the grass? I think so. Let's do some of this, so we could like jump back and forth a bit. As I say, highly skilled trackers often employ stealth, utilizing their surroundings to avoid detection. Those with even higher skills simply choose a more convenient capture location. <laughs> uh, okay. So I can walk back here if I want to. I mean, this is a place where I can find out what happens. Uh, actually, I don't think I can because I can't send you upwards, can I? Uh, except I can if I do this. I feel like I'm on the right path here, although... Mm, up? Oh, I see. Am I going to have to do this? Because he can't see me. Leave. Go back up. <laughs> okay. Okay, so... Oh. Ah, okay, so I'm using the grass again. Setting you down. And then right. We're all good. Cool. Super snappy. I also like that I'm not always taken back up to the world map. Like if it's just a linear sequence, I'm taken from one to the next. That feels good. Okay. So you are gonna go, well, no, you're not necessarily gonna go to the right, but I want you to, don't I? In which case, maybe I'm like leaving that grass for now. Or maybe I don't want you to, maybe I wanna go around the back of here. Instead you left. But from there, I don't think there's anywhere you could go, no. Hmm. How are you going to end up in that trap? By moving rightwards? Is this where we learn about you going to grass? Do you stop? You stop in the grass, and if I go next to you, you scare away, and it gets destroyed. But only if I'm next to you. Okay. That's how that works. Okay. Um, do I want you to go... Ah, uh, yes, I think I was doing things right, actually. I'm not sure about that. Mm. Yeah, I am sure about that. That's fine. That's fine. Um, ah, I don't want to get rid of you. So you're going to go up and then right, I think, and then down. Then left, and then we're done, right? Oh no, we're not done. We're definitely not done. Then, ah, clever. So then over there, that's a nice sneaky false ending. Because <laughs> if I scared you off, you would have just gone under the trap. There we go. Cool. Okay, fun layout. Right, so I'm going to break a bunch of them as I cross over. But I need to leave some route. I think maybe I want to break that one. I want to leave the grass that's under the trap because I want you to stop there. Maybe this is fine. And I send you, yeah, I send you down and then left and then down. Down, left, cool, and down. Because the walls in the middle there were stopping me from scaring you out of certain grass. I'm gonna go read this thing. Also of scientific interest is the endangered species of grass which <laughs> sparsely populates the region. No one can quite work out why, but islands revisited by researchers in previous years tend to fare worst of all. No one can quite work out why, but islands visited by researchers in previous years tend to fare worst of all. Are we, uh, are we causing the problems? Or are we going there because of the problems? Um, okay, you could be scared left, you could be scared in any direction. Interesting. Okay, you're going to want to be in this at some point and then scared down. However, if you go into this now, I can't go past it without scaring you to the side. So I don't want you in there now. I probably want you in this one. And to get there, could I not just do this? I kind of feel like it wants me to take a longer route, but I'm not sure why I would need to. Ooh, because now I can't go past you. Except I can't, oh, clever, yes, okay. Then you're going right, and right, oh, around the outside, cool. That way. 
yeah, these are those like very like visual puzzles where it's just like a little maze you gotta work out. Uh, I'm not done. So that has to be gone. I, but I could have just got rid of that. I don't think that needed to be there, right? So get rid of you. And same true with this one, right? Oh no. Problems. I can't scare you left out of this. I can't scare you up out of it either, so going into that is always bad. Okay, so you're not going in there. I've done something wrong. I think I want you in here. But I can't scare you into there from the up, up one, so I'm scaring you into there from this one, which I can do. To get you into that one, can I just send you down and then left? No, because I can't walk past this. How do I get you into this one? Um, I send you up and then down. Ah, but I can't do that. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. So I send you right, then up, then left, then down. This is clever. Then down, then left, then up, and then right. Yay, cool. Fun stuff. <clears throat> uh, also, just notice it's raining here. <laughs> Music's very nice. I like it a lot. Where are you going? So you're gonna eventually wanna hit that wall going rightwards, which means hitting that wall at the top, which means that grass being gone, actually. So I'm not scaring you out of this grass, I'm getting rid of it at some point. Um, I might just wanna... Hmm. I mean, maybe I get rid of it by scaring you out of it. It's possible. But then what, I'm scaring you right? Because I wanna get you back in that, and no. Okay, <clears throat> I want you to hit that wall at the top. That's not gonna happen by you coming out of the grass. I mean, it could scare you down. No, if you go in this grass, we have a problem. I sort of want you to stay where you are, but I can't get rid of this grass without... Hmm. Ah. Ah? Uh? No, not ah. Uh. Hmm. Oh, but you could go right, then up, then left to hit that wall, then go up. Okay, that's probably what I'm doing. So, I want to do this. But I need to get rid of that grass, so where are you going right now? Wait, maybe I loop around, send you rightwards, then get rid of this grass. Yeah, that feels good. Then up, then left, then up. Yeah, neat. Super cool. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Uh... So the exit's over there. By exit, I mean trap. I mean, I could go read this first. Let's do that. Biologists train themselves to the subtle signs of the elusive animal. Thankfully, the animal's tall ears are a bit of a giveaway when they're hiding and don't even seem to help in detecting dangers. <laughs> nice. Silly little orange creature. Um, okay, so right now we can scale you left or right into those bits of grass. We could also clear out some of that grass, which I'm clearly gonna wanna do. I'm clearly gonna wanna clear. I could be clearing that one, or I could not. I don't think it really matters, right? Because I can always escape left anyway. Okay, now the problem's gonna be, ah, okay. So I do wanna clear that and the next one because this is gonna be a problem. I'd come here and scare upwards and fly away. Where do they go? Nobody knows. Um, Uh, 
And then I'm going to want to scare you upwards and then rightwards. Hmm, that's not going to happen though. So downwards? And then rightwards, then upwards. Does that make sense? I think I want to get rid of this. You're going to land over here. I'm going to scare you downwards. Rightwards. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Although, will I be able to go past you? No. Oh, maybe I don't get rid of that. I'll be able to go past you if that's still there. Yes, of course. Uh, okay. Cool. So you go over there. All the way across. And then... And you can go quite fast, actually, if you're tapping. It's nice. Here, downwards. And this bit sticking out so I can do that. And we go up. Then I get rid of this grass. And we go that way. Hey. Oh. I like the way the notes, like the little notes, like the, the noise it makes when it's unlocking or like clearing the levels. It goes slightly up in pitch, I think. Unless I was imagining that. Let's, okay, last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just check out an ice swan. What is the difference between ice and... Was ice in the game? Oh no, it's got numbers on it. They do have numbers. What does the number mean? Okay, so ice stays there. The purple crystals sink. Okay, ice floats. Um, oh, wait, so I need to take another one over. So this must be a classic make a platform to push up from. That's always a classic in any game where you're pushing blocks and there's like a lower level. Uh, so you can go there and bring this across and that's all that is, right? Yay. So it did have numbers, although I'm not sure what the numbers mean yet. Okie dokie. Um, I think we'll wrap up there for today. It's very fun to be in this game. Um, as I said, one of my favorite puzzle script games. Um, but now you can play this wonderfully polished version. Um, looking forward to continuing. I'll probably continue up in this ice area next time and we'll like kind of go back and forth between the two places. I'm gonna guess that they probably merge again and we'll have like combined mechanics later. That would be my guess. All right, see you next time folks and we'll continue here. I should stop moving around because the music keeps changing. <laughs> Oh yeah, and I haven't even ended up using my cursor. I guess I haven't needed it yet. Um, but <laughs> I do have my cursor for when I need it. Uh, maybe I'll get in the habit of using it. I think I've been playing so many games where I can't, and so I'm out of the habit of using it. Um, but yeah, I'll do that next time. See you then. Goodbye.